So this week I just want to do a laid back chill video chatting to you about my little collection of mobile photography. I've often said in the past that uh, mobile photography is actually quite important especially for those who do not have a camera yet because I find you shouldn't feel too restricted by that because your phone is actually capable of a lot of stuff when it comes to photography. You just gotta help it a little. So I want to show you my little collection of phone photography from the last few months and uh, hopefully motivate you in case you are in this situation that you do not have a camera yet but you're really interested in photography or if you just want to have a chill video to watch while eating breakfast as I often like to do. Let's get right into it. This is the first photo. We're starting off really moody. I just like the overall mood of it. It's very contrasty and you've got the clouds covering the mountains and the snow. I mean, it's not much snow. I think what makes this photo special is just the overall mood. I mean, the composition isn't really that special. Uh, by the way, this was just on the way to a ski resort in the bus shot out of the window. <laughs> and uh, I edited it in Lightroom. By the way, these first photos I'm showing you were all shot in RAW because my phone is capable of shooting RAW as many phones nowadays are capable of. So you might want to check if your phone can do that because that is really helpful. You can really enhance the look of your mobile photos just by importing them into Lightroom and giving them a cool little edit. This edit isn't really special. It's just got some greens in the shadows, a lot of blue, and I adjusted the contrast. There's not much more to it than that. Let's move on to the next photo. This was on the same day. I was out skiing and uh, this is, as you can see, just the pylon of a ski lift. This lift was actually closed, therefore there aren't any lifts on it. And I thought it, it looks like some leftover post-apocalyptic kind of scene with the last remains of the humanity in this story, which I thought was cool. The next photo is pretty much the same concept, just it's a snowmaker. I don't know in your country if you go skiing and stuff, but here in Austria, we've got these machines that actually make artificial snow when there's not enough snow around, not enough natural snow. And uh, this one was not working out that day and it was just standing lowly in the snow. And I thought it looked really cool. So I composed a super simple photo, put it in the middle, slightly lower. And I just think in the overall misty mood, it looked pretty cool. And then the next photo, this was while sitting on the lift. We were just passing over a few trees and especially because we're on the lift, I really thought this is a cool opportunity to get this, you could say, different perspective. As you might know, I do not own a drone, I don't plan to fly drones, so I don't often have this higher perspective in my photography. So this is why I was really tempted to do it because it's a rare opportunity for me and I like it. It's not special, it's again very simple, it's more about the mood actually. The composition again is not really special, but I really like that at the top of the image you can see a few snowflakes just flying through the image and uh, of course the mist. <laughs> what else? So these first photos from the snow are all very much for the mood in my opinion. Then uh, I think this is the last photo from that winter day where we've got this slightly different perspective on the trees than we had previously. The composition is not special at all, it's all about the mood. Okay, now this was on a different day. This was the other day actually, um, when we were driving home from, from where actually? I think we were grocery shopping or something. And it was a misty evening. And again, I'm really into mist. And uh, so usually when Melly and I are driving, I drive, but uh, I asked her to drive because I wanted to shoot out the window. And so this was just on our way home. Uh, you can see at the top that the shutter speed was pretty low which I think gives this whole photo a really cool dynamic and just the overall uh, glow around all the lights due to the mist is super cool. And uh, this also was heavily edited in Lightroom. I played around with the contrast, really pushed the oranges. I know many people don't like the tungsten lights and the look of it, but here I just made it stronger because I thought that was just the main color of the image and so why not enhance it? And also just added a lot of green in the shadows. This photo here actually looks quite different, but it's uh, still from the same evening. This was just when we were leaving the grocery store and I just really like this scene of the parking area with this car underneath the light and the light in the fog with this really big glow around it. You know I like that stuff, so I shot it. The next photo is just a different angle. Um, I actually don't know which I prefer, but I think I prefer uh, this one because uh, you don't see <laughs> the sign of the grocery store as big, which I found a little annoying, and you can see more of the lights towards the back. Just giving this photo some more depth, I suppose. I don't know, 
I think I like this one, but maybe it's just a feeling. Okay, now we have moved on to another day again. This was when I was out shooting. Maybe you remember the video. I made a video about this day uh, when I was shooting out in the fog somewhere on the countryside. I found this photo in my gallery and thought, huh, that's quite cool. This photo is again from another day out shooting somewhere in nowhere in thick fog. And I just thought it'd be cool to shoot a little behind the scene photo. This as well, this was the cold day, that's why I had to bring out the, the fat gloves, um, which usually is a little inconvenient, but on that day it was really necessary. Although it was actually not that cold, just I'm really sensitive to <laughs> the cold. All right, this is again a different day. This was back at the beginning of autumn 2020. Um, this was on my way to college. My college is slightly on the countryside, like just outside of town. And so it gets quite misty around there sometimes, whereas in town it doesn't get misty as much. And so I was getting really excited, getting further and further out of town. <laughs> it was getting mistier and mistier. And we were just stopping at this train station. So I decided to use this moment and get my phone out and shoot a little shot out here, which I think turned out really cool. I love uh, the composition here. Surprisingly, I was just here by coincidence. I didn't move or anything. The train stopped and I was sitting on my seat, just got my phone out and coincidentally, I just had to point it that way and had this composition with the lamp nicely to the side. I just think the lamp really makes this composition work. Um, is this point of interest, not that it is especially interesting. Again, a lot of this photo is just the mood, um, but I think this one actually does have somewhat of a composition. <laughs> okay, now we're moving on to some more romantic photos, I would say. I don't know, what, what do you call the mood of these photos? I thought it looked somewhat sunset, pinkish. Uh, I thought I'd call it romantic. I think that was quite a fitting word. Anyway, this was again <laughs> while grocery shopping and at the parking area, as you can see, um, with the cars in front of me. And I saw that moon glowing in the sunset and I thought, I gotta shoot that. So this is the first photo from that evening. This is the second photo. As you can see, we've got quite some texture and a lot of blurriness. This was because I was shooting out of the car window, which was fogging up a little bit because of the temperature difference inside the car and outside of the car. And I really liked how this extreme texture lined up with the light and just made the whole thing a little more interesting. And I really liked the colors that came out here. Moving on, this is, you can imagine, the photo I just showed you was shot this way and now I turned around this way, back to the moon. And this is the scene I saw and I really like this photo. I don't know, it's again, somewhat compositionless, but there are so many little things that you can look at. You've got the inside of the car, you've got stuff in front of you, but also the moon in the back. And I think this photo really has this romantic vibe. You could be imagining that this is on a date or something, I don't know. Oh, and then this shot. This is um, one of my favorites. This is somewhat of a classic, as you know, especially film photographers shoot gas stations all the time and I really get the aesthetic. I really understand why they think it's aesthetically pleasing. And with this sky in the background and the illuminated orange square at the top and the car lights in red, I think this just proves again, when you don't have your camera with you, don't hesitate to shoot it with your phone. I think this turned out beautifully. All right, now we're coming to a collection of photos which were not shot in RAW anymore. So for any one of you who found out that their phone is sadly not capable of shooting RAW, don't be discouraged by that. However, these shots were also not just shot with the phone camera as it is. I actually shot this through an app. I've used the app before. Maybe you remember back a few months ago, I made a behind the scenes GoPro POV video of me shooting but phone photography. And I told you that I'm using the film simulation app called Fimo. So this shot and the following shots were all shot with that app called Fimo with the film simulation called EK80, which I think is a simulation of Kodak Ektar, I think. Anyway, that's my favorite preset that they have. So some of these photos probably look slightly over edited, but I still enjoy the look that they give you. So this is, you could say, the extra convenient way to just be shooting and have instantly edited photos without having to edit yourself. I was really enjoying the light on that day. So this was just a few meters on from the previous photo. It's just this winter light coming in from the side, which I think is super aesthetic. So I had to shoot this. 
And here I have a much older photo. I think this is the beginning of autumn 2020. Uh, again, on my way to college and I was just waiting at the train station and I thought kind of everything looked cool. I think it's slightly underexposed. I'd prefer everything to be just a tad bit brighter, but that's what the app did. <laughs> this photo is from the same waiting session. Just, I had 15 minutes or so to wait for my next train. And I obviously thought these shadows were quite cool here. I think the shadows and how they contrast to the somewhat glowing ground looks quite interesting. Then, this is still from the same waiting session, capturing the shadows from the chairs. I don't play a lot with uh, light and shadows, as you know, I'm more of the fog kind of guy. But especially when I'm just waiting around with my phone, I do tend to just shoot stuff completely out of my usual genre. And that is also the reason why I wanted to make this video, just to share some other kind of photos with you. Now this is again waiting for the train uh, on my way to college, um, but as you can see this is a different day, this is an overcast day and I thought it was really cool how that red sign, first of all that the red sign really popped out of the rest of the scene because it was so colourful, but the other thing is that it's perfectly centred in between the two, what would you call those? You know what I mean, right? So I centered it in the composition just to enhance that centred focus and I think this turned out quite nicely. Okay, we're going further and further back in time. This was in September 2019 on my way to a film set. This was just in the train on the way to the set or to the location. And again, I was enjoying some watery textures on the windows. So this here is the first photo from the location itself. We had this little apartment where we were shooting and this was our toilet for the crew and I just really liked how the light was coming in. Scene itself is not that interesting. I think I shot this because of the light. At least that's what I find interesting now. I really like the soft light that just comes from the side out of that window. So here is just a close-up of the same scene. This is on the way to that location we just saw in the car. Again, as you can see, I somehow seem to be enjoying <laughs> shooting through wet windows and uh, I also really enjoy the red lights of the cars in front of us. The next photo is basically the same, just much cooler in my opinion. I just love the colour contrast coming out here and how that red is so big because it's not just the lights but also the raindrops that are on the window just in front of that car. So this is not so far back in time anymore. This, I think it was more or less around Christmas, on my way home to my parents, and I was just walking along the street and saw this, I think it's a swing, without a swing. <laughs> and again, this was just, the winter light caught me. I thought it was really cool, this golden hour look here, so I shot it, and I really enjoyed this shot. It just gives me a good feeling. I don't know, I don't know about you, but uh, please, if you have any thoughts to share, feel free to share them in the comments. I'd be interested to read, because a lot of these photos, I'm just not sure if they're any good, but I really feel something when looking at them. I just like the mood. It's either really dramatic, or in this case, somewhat nostalgic, I suppose. So, um, yeah, that's it. Really chill video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a good time. I hope I could inspire you maybe to uh, go out and shoot with your phone in case you don't have a camera available at the moment. And with that said, I'll see you next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.